hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing super 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 well so to begin off this eye look i'm going to take my mac soft ochre paint pot to prime my eyelids just to get rid of any veins or redness or any discoloration that might show through into the eyeshadows and things like that i'm using my Eag show large crease brush to blend out the concealer paint pot whatever you like to call it it literally does such a flawless job. It's like my new favorite brush to apply my paint pot on with. Next, I'm going in with tape, making sure they're both even on both sides. That is quite crucial, especially with this look because we are doing that really foxy wing look. Next, to start this look off with, I'm going to grab a transition shade. These two browns are really good because they're a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. And I'm applying them on with a soft crease brush from Zoeva, just along the tape first, and then taking whatever's left on the brush through the crease, kind of mapping out that cut crease shape look that we're going to create with this look, you know. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and this deep brown shade. I think this is Central Perk from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm applying that right along the edge of the tape with the pencil brush, really keeping it quite close and creating a nice sharp line. Also bringing it on the outer corner of my eye along that lash line area and then taking it through the crease as well. Make sure you do take your time with this step because we are mapping out that shape that we are wanting to create. If you do get a little bit messy or it does you know, get onto the lid, don't worry, we will clean that up in a little bit, but just try and keep most of the product focused along that crease area. As you can see, I start off with a little bit of brown and slowly build up. I feel like that's the best way to go about it. And then I blend it out a little bit more with some of that soft brown on the crease brush again, just so there's no harsh lines. Next, we're going to cut our crease. So I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot again and then an eye concealer brush and I'm just carving out the crease. The only thing I'm doing different from a normal cut crease look is that I'm not like going to bring the whole concealer all over the lid. I'm literally just kind of cleaning up that cut crease area and then just blending it down a little bit. So I don't want to cover up that smoky liner look. I've just brought it out to the outer corner where it's like become nice and sharp, but I'm not covering up that smoky brown liner. Next I'm going in with Soda Pop on a precise shader brush and I'm deepening up that smoky liner and cut crease. This brush is so good because it does create a nice sharp line, especially against that cut crease. I want it to be really stark and sharp, make it look really clean and crisp. I'm going along that whole cut crease, making sure it's darkest on the outer points of the eye and just fades into the inner corner. Then I'm going in with Mocha on a pencil brush again and I'm blending out those browns so it's nice and smoky. Get that nice really dramatic boxy look. So do take your time with this step, go back and forth between shades if you need to deepen them up at all or anything like that. Make sure it's nice and smoky and soft. I also don't want to bring it up too far towards the brow bone so I am keeping that blend quite focused in the crease. So I do recommend just going in with a little bit of product at a time to blend. Otherwise you end up with too much product and not enough room to blend it out. I'm also going in and making sure that smoky liner look comes in a little bit more because it was so focused on the outer corner I do want to bring it in towards the inner corner. So I'm going in again with a precise shader brush and some of Central Perk and Mocha together. I'm going in and bringing that towards my inner corner and then just blending it out a little bit with that soft crease brush and some of those transition shades that we used at the beginning. Now for my favourite bit, oh, I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow colour. This is Dream from the Warm Collection palette from Thin Lizzy. It's like a pink champagne shade. It literally ties in so, so well this look. So it is a little bit golden, but still has that rosy tone to it. And like it is champagne-y, like it has a kind of champagne colour to it. It's just so soft and subtle, but it really does bring this look to another level. I'm going in with a precise shader brush from Zoeva and really carving out that crease. So I'm applying most of the eyeshadow on the cut crease area, like along that crease line, and then just softened it softly, <laughs> like diffusing it towards that smoky liner. It's like what I did with the cut crease, like I'm not bringing that pigment all the way down onto the smoky liner because I don't want to cover it up. I'm kind of just making sure most of the pigment is on that kind of top lid area and then it kind of diffuses down toward the smoky liner. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Then I go back in with some of Central Perk on that precise shader brush and just kind of deepen up that smoky liner where it needs to be like deepened up or something like that. You know, in the crease or liner area, like just wherever it needs it. It's just kind of a little touch up kind of thing. 
and then you guys should have something that looks a little like this <laughs> next for the actual winged liner so I'm actually going in with a liquid liner this is the hyper sharp liquid liner from Maybelline I'm going in making sure to keep it the thinnest of thin lines on that inner corner and like lash line area and then I make it a smidge bit thicker on the wing I don't want it to be too focused on the wing liner per se I just wanted to deepen up that smoky liner with a bit of liquid liner so the focus is should not be the liquid liner so I do keep it quite thin and very close towards that lash line then I'm going in with a bit of mocha again on a pencil brush. I'm just smoking out that liquid liner a little bit. Next I'm going to take this glitter liner. This is from Revlon. It's in the shade Topaz Twinkle. And I'm applying this along the cut crease area. Not the whole way across. I'm actually just keeping it like from the center of the lid. And then I'm making it a little bit thicker as it comes out towards that outer corner kind of cat eye. And making sure just to keep it along that kind of cut crease. I don't want it to go onto the lid at all. So again, do take your time with this step and just build up that glitter liner to your desired opaqueness. <laughs> if you don't have like a silvery topaz colour like this, you can go in with gold. I feel like gold would go well with this look as well. So it's up to you what kind of like colour you'd like to use for your glitter liner. But as you can see, I have made it a little bit thicker as it comes towards that foxy cat eye outer corner. And then it's tapers in towards that cut crease in the middle of the eye for lashes today i went in with these icona lashes in the style make you miss me they're nice and feline they're shorter on the inner corner longer on the outer corner and then i went in and took the tape off as you can see it creates a nice crisp line it's my favorite thing ever when i use tape is to get that nice sharp line at the end oh so delicious <laughs> Next, I'm applying some brow bone highlights. I'm using this highlighter from the Focalore Superstar Highlighter Palette. And I'm going in with the lightest shade. I'm applying that to my brow bone and inner corners. I just think it creates a nice little pop and it's a kind of golden -y shade, so it ties in well with this look. Then I'm going to extend the inner corner, creating that foxy eye look. So I'm going in with the liquid liner first and creating the smidgiest, littlest line along the inner corner. And then going in with a bit of mocha on a precise shader brush. I'm just blending that out a little bit to extend it out. And so it's not so harsh. It's a little bit more smoky and subtle. I'm literally only extending it out a little bit, guys. You don't want to take it too far because then it kind of it loses its effect. So keeping it small and subtle just, oh, just gives such a nice effect to the eyes. Doesn't it create such a beautiful almond shape? Oh, I'm obsessed. I went in and did the rest of my base, so my foundation and everything like that. I have linked above though, like my foxy eye makeup look where I did do my base foundation as well. So you can check that out if you'd like. But then next I'm going in with a nude eye coal. This is from Models Prefer and it just really opens up the eyes. That's why I love a nude eye coal in the waterline. Makes you look really like awake and fresh. Then mixing some of Soda Pop and Central Perk on a precise shader brush and I'm applying that along the like bottom lash line about two thirds of the way across keeping it super super close I don't want to smoke this out too far down otherwise you'll lose that boxy eye effect and then smoking it out with some of the mocha again like I said I'm not smoking it down too far I want to keep it nice and close to the lash line then I'm going to take some of that glitter eyeliner again and apply that to the inner third of my bottom lash line area I just think it ties in well, it makes it quite a symmetrical look, you know, tying in with the top lash, the top lid area and the bottom lash line with that glitter liner. I just really like the effect it created. And you know, who doesn't like a little bit more glitter with a look? I mean, I love it. <laughs> then I'm going to apply some bottom lash mascara and that basically completes this eye look today. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I am obsessed with it. I think it turned out so, so well. That glitter just makes it so much. And I thought it was kind of a nice, more dramatic extension to the foxy eye trend that has been going around over like social media and YouTube and stuff like that. I hope you guys did enjoy this look. Please leave a big thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. I love you all so much. Stay well, stay happy, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.